A former cop on the record this morning after a judge acquitted him of a concerning crime. And while he's cleared in a court of law, what he really wants now is his job. Seven Sheldon Fox has the exclusive. Yeah, it was a pretty horrific feeling. It's the feeling for a former cop who was fired last year and then some. In 2021, you were arrested by the Hialeah Police Department. Did you guys write fake traffic tickets? For writing phony tickets. Were they wrong to arrest you? Yes, sir, they definitely were. They got it wrong? Yes. A Miami-Dade court agrees. On Monday, Armando Perez was acquitted on charges of falsifying public records and misconduct connected to allegations that he and a colleague wrote bogus traffic tickets. The other arrestee, ex-Hialeah officer Ernesto Arias Martinez, has since taken a plea deal. Do you have anything to say? Here they were walking out of jail last year, around the time Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle said this. And it's just such a distrust to the community. The state couldn't prove the allegations. Attorney Michael Greco says his client was always innocent and that the charges against Perez were out of spite because his department, then under Chief Sergio Velasquez, was angry to learn he accepted a better job with the state to be an investigator. That was the same day they put him on leave and told him he was under investigation. It was a shock. It was a very drastic change. Um, being in the spotlight, all our neighbors, our friends, our schoolmates. Perez's wife, Diana, remembers an unsettling feeling of not knowing what was coming next after her husband was off the force and facing jail time. But now that he's been cleared... Just want to get on with my life and move forward. And by the way, Hialeah needs to make sure they give him his job back, otherwise they're going to be writing us a big fat check because they owe him for firing him improperly. Sheldon Fox, today in Florida. We've reached out to Hialeah Police, but have not received a response. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office says it's not commenting on this case.